Lorena Riker is live in the muck with Dr. Brian Bedard, Director of Creative Writing at the U, and he's here to talk about academic honesty. Academic honesty has been in the news lately, especially with the current events with Greg Mortensen, a former USD grad, and also just with finals coming up soon, a lot of final papers are here. So today I have Dr. Brian Bedard. He is the Director of Creative Writing at the University to have a little bit more discussion about this. So Dr. Bedard, is there a fine line between between um, um, a non-fiction um, non piece and over-sensationalizing over something? Uh, I think there probably is as far as uh, maybe our standards of entertainment so that the writer might be trying to meet those standards with a certain sort of dramatic flair mm -hmm. and can cross the line, I think, into misrepresentation or distortion. Is that sort of distortion acceptable in the writing community? Well, it's gotten to become much more debatable and controversial, um, I think, because of the, risk, the, the um, <clears throat> popularity of creative nonfiction, of autobiographies, uh, of uh, celebrities. Um, so I think it's become much more um, difficult to come up with fixed rules about it. Okay, now with students, is there more of fixed rules for what students have to put forth? I think, yeah, probably on academic papers, anything that involves research um, and information that has been, you know, found or located in journals, in the library, etc. The, the baseline on all of that kind of writing is you know, uh, acknowledging your sources. Mm -hmm. And that's where we get into problems. All right, well, that's something that students will definitely have to, to keep in mind with the next, the next couple of weeks with papers coming up. Thank you, Dr. Bedard, for being with oh, us today. Oh, you're most today. welcome. And th thank you, back to you live at the Muck, Lorena Riker with U News.